Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crop Queen, and today we are going to do a next page. And I am a little nervous because it's a long time ago that I did this technique. So, okay, again, go with the flow and join me. And don't judge me on my unprofessional way of giving a tutorial. That's just how I like it. It's just, it's, I like it. <laughs> Alright, so again, we are grabbing a base page, which is 9.5 by 6 3 4. And again, I am going to make first uh, the closure pages. And the closure pages, this time... Um, I want to be, I want to make two, yeah, the same, um, I call that a door closure. Um, so first I'm going to grab a piece of paper and I'm going to score, cut that, I'm first cut that, cut, 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 we need to cut that first and then we're going to make a flippity flop with that one eight one fourth extra i don't know if i can make two of them i think i can but just to be sure i'm making the same score lines on the other side i think i can if i fold this in half let's see Yeah, I think I can. So if I cut this in the middle. Okay, fingers crossed guys. As you can see, go with the flow. But yeah, um, <laughs> that perhaps is not for anybody to understand. Well, if I say uh, let's grab a new piece of paper, then I always use an A4. And an A4, um, like I many times mentioned is in my country 21 by 29 and a half centimeters and um, I understand that so I will give you the measurements in inches so that is 8 1 4th by 11 5 5 8 but yeah we have our base page and we are going to work from from that base page and the base page is again nine and a half by six three four so i always advise people to just follow every minute of my tutorials because i mention actually pretty everything and so now let's see if this fits and i think it does no it doesn't shall it fit well you can you can if this is, it's hard to see, but if you make this flat, let's see, there's a little blue brown edge. Oh, well, I'm, yep, I'm satisfied. So, I am going to glue that door page closure. <laughs> I'm going to glue that on the sides with a nice brown edge all the way around. Here we are. Okay, that's that. Then the other part. this side make sure that this is straight okay and then we just pop this a little open yeah, and then that's, that's good that's perfect i like it that is good so this is the start where we begin with so let's go inside okay next step okay Join me. Join my journal. <laughs> my journey. <laughs> okay, 
Okay. Um, what what is next? What is next? Um, let's measure how deep do I want? I know. I'm going to explain you what I am going to do. I'm going to make first a pocket. So the pocket does not need to go all the way because otherwise you can't pick something out. So I want, well this is six and a half and I want it definitely one inch thinner. So I'm going to cut my paper at five and a half inches. So I have enough space to create a pocket. So I am going to cut my paper at five and a half. Yep, like this. Yep, now we still have that place. Good. Now, first we are going to make a hinge. This, and I'm going to line this up at the end of this black paper so I still have that brown edge on the other side on the upper side and now I'm going to make a mark where the other black paper ends and that's where I'm going to make another hinge And I'm going to cut this shorter because I don't need that large hinge. And now the pocket is ready. Okay. Here we go. So this is going to be right on top here. And we still have that brown edge. You see? Okay, now before I am going to glue this down, I'm going to pick it up and put this away for just a second. That's easier to work with and that's easier for you guys to follow. Okay, so now we have a piece, yeah, I can measure, but it, it's five and a half by eight one fourth. But you have to measure that on your base page that's the easiest way and you can't make any mistakes of that okay so we are going to do something on here that's not just a pocket no of course not we are going to do something on here okay next step okay let's go to the next step and the next step is i'm going to grab two pieces of paper and I'm going to cut these at five and a half, and that's the same size as this one. Okay, so let's get started and fold this in half. That's the easiest way, I think. Okay. Now I'm going to line this up against that white line and now I am going to make a flippity flop on that mark okay now let's fold it over and I need another another one, another fold line on exactly the same spot. Okay. So if you fold a double, you have two hinges. You can cut this down, but it's not necessary. Um, okay, so let's do that again. Okay, I'm just going to fold it over. Fold it in half. And let's measure. Well, it's actually exactly the same size, but... Okay, let's measure again. Making a nice mark. 
and then we are going to make a fold line or a flip de flop fold it make another mark where your other fold line is need to go What we are going to do is these flaps need to go to the outside. So if you have this is your fold line, this one, and your flaps need to go to the outside. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to attach this nicely in this middle piece. So yeah, I can cut this down, but if it's no needed, it's no needed. Alright, so now I'm just going to attach this. Very important that it's neat, straight. Okay. Now turn this over and let's attach that other side too. to attach these two onto each other against each other okay make it nice and even that's that okay so now what we have is this on each side okay and uh, here too yes now we are going to cut a piece of paper that is the exactly same size as this piece and that goes on here so yeah let's grab another piece and uh, of course that was a five and a half to measure this like this so I have a nice you can measure it but you know I don't like measuring so I do like it this way then mostly I do not anything wrong <laughs> okay so this is the perfect size and if you are not perfectly straight with these little flaps, then I can cut them down in just a second. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some glue on one hinge first. And I'm just going to do if I am going all over that page. Okay, so now we have attached that piece, and now we are going to attach this piece. Alright, so put some glue on. And let's just flip it all back, and there we go. Okay, so when this is... Alrighty, next day I already. Um, first of all, if you hear anything a noise, I have my window open because it's still hot and I still love my <laughs> cleaned craft room, so I don't want to get downstairs. Um, so yeah, if you have hear any noise like a big truck or something like that, that's because my window is open and I'm sorry for that. But I hope my voice will 
overdo that. All right, so what we have is, uh, we have our big pocket and we have this one going to the left and right. And I think we are going to apply this already on that base page. Let's see if my glue wants to be awake too. Now, let's us attach this pocket, enormous pocket, and let's see which side, this side I want to be closed. Okay, so let's attach this, I'm going to be a little away from that edge. So I do want that brown edge all the way around, but I stay away at least two to three millimeters away from that fold line. It has, it needs to be that space. Let's grab our bone folder and let's push that glue into that paper. Lift it up. So you'll have a better view of pointing it all down. Okay, so that is that. So now it's really easy to let you see how this works. So this you can lift up and then you see all those nice places for photos and in here too. So down here too. All right, so. And I did this um, earlier in my Christmas Magic Graphic 45 mini album tutorial and in my Masquerade Graphic 45 album. So yeah, I thought uh, I will let this come back. I love this uh, idea. And I have a little extra to show you what I, which I tried out and it, it is so easy. And I do not know if I am going to use it but I made a small one too. And I'm going to do this right now together with you. Just to show you another size. That's, it's really, really nice size. I really love, I really love this. And um, so let's grab a piece of paper. And um, yeah, you can, uh, you can use any size of course. But I just wanted to make um, a size that is doable at one sheet of an A4. So I'm just going to choose, let's say, how small is a four by six? No, a, um, the, yeah, a four, a three by four. That's, 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 that's an ATC, uh, yeah, almost. But this one is four, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do first. So I'm making an ATC, um, system <laughs> not a system good lord it's not a system all right so we have our four inch piece and yeah my a4 is 29 and a half or 11 5 of an eighth inch but if you have a 12 by 12 then you can also do this then you even can make it a um, 3 by 4 but I'm going to use what I have and so I'm folding it double and I'm folding it again double but then the, other, the opposite way okay that is that and of course we need another one so I'm cutting it again at four so we fold it in half And again in half and the last piece also in half that's that okay now we are going to cut a piece of paper but I want to show you how this is turned out it's in an M way see now we have an M and a W <laughs> a W 
Okay, so the fold line is going to be outside. Yep. All right, so that is what's going to be outside. So the fold line, this fold line, the, 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 the single fold line needs to go out. Yes, now we're going to cut and shall I use another piece of paper? No, I'm just going to use black. Now I'm going to cut a piece that's four inch, of course, because that's the same size. And I need two, so I'm going to cut two pieces that are four inches. Now I'm not going to cut anything else, only the four inches. Now what we are going to do is I am going to glue down this piece. Oh, yeah, here it is. Grabbing my first piece and I'm going to nicely attach this. There we go. Now, you keep that single fold line on the outside and I'm just going to attach this on top that other one no not on top against this other one nicely now i am just going to cut this piece off this is just a, a scrap queen way you can measure it up but you know i hate measuring my measuring are always going to mix up <laughs> now I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this side of course so again I'm just going to put some of this glue right on top here and place this on the right spot this is such such a quick dry glue but and then, of course, on this side, too. Here we go. Burnish it down. And again, I'm going to cut this piece off. It's hard to see black on black, but... See how quick this is made and it's done it it is done see when now I have to put this close but I have to put my finger on but if you glue this down on a cord or anything else then you don't have to so now you can flip this to the left have your ATC cards well almost ATC cards yeah it's two three four by four inches but you you get the picture and then this goes to this side there you go okay so that is just the next thing and you can make a pocket out of it you can make you can make some hinges on here same as i did with a big one and then you glue it down and then you have a nice back pocket and you can add a nice a picture frame on here or a photo mat or anything else and then you have a nice surprise that this is open up to the left and to the left to the left and to the right yeah uh, so it's a nice extra touch where you can add more nice nice little pictures so that is just how I wanted to show you how easy this system actually works so yeah I love that now I have to Ooh. Ah, cool <laughs> okay let's get back to the page okay let's see now we can do a lot of extra things on here um, but I'm not I'm, I'm not want to do it oh I'm not want to overdo it um, because we still have this closure so we have to be aware that we are not going to build 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 so this is not going to be closed. 
Um, yeah, let's make... I, you know I do like pockets. You know I do. So what if we make two nice sideway pockets? So we have a sideway pocket right here, a nice big one. And perhaps two pockets on top. That, I think that's... That's a good idea, and that will do. So let's grab some white pencil. And I'm just going to measure this up on the, not the same size, because I want to make an opening. So I am going to measure this up, and I'm leaving it a half inch from that side. So what it is then, okay, so yeah, the bottom piece is five and a half, and I'm going to make this five. So we have, we have that half inch smaller. Okay, now it's just a matter of making hinges, and uh, I think we can do two pockets out of one. We'll see. We'll see if we can do that. Um, I think we need to measure the half of this. Ooh, I'm terrible that. No, I'm just going to measure the middle. And that is right there. Okay, so we are going to make this a hinge. I'm going to line this up till that mark right there and then I'm going to make a mark where I want my next fold line and then I'm cut this piece off so I have a hinge okay that's our first pocket. Let's go to the other one. So, same piece of paper. And I'm just going to measure. Well, I can. I can add this piece on here. And then I'm pushing this against the other one. Right here. And then make mark so I don't have any gaps all right that's good let's make that hinge well you can cut this down but it's short already let's just leave it like this okie dokie so we have our two pockets um, we can we can make this more beautiful mm -hmm. we can we can do we want that mm. i think we do what do you think shall we make this a little more nice with that a nice decorative edge on here yeah i think we do so i'm going to prepare it and i'll be back with you in just a second okay I did already some decoration pockets it takes too long if I do that together with you but this is the CLOT 38 that one that's the code if you like this die then you can search that but I will put the links all below okay so let's glue this on here let's just start with the first one don't forget the bottom otherwise you don't have a pocket of course so i'm just starting at the bottom piece right here I 
Okay, let's go to the next one. So grab it right here. And again, don't forget the bottom. Alright, so let's put this nicely against each other on the bottom. That looks cool. Okay, that's that. So, pocket, pocket, big pocket. And is it enough? I think. I think it's enough, but I always know before. Um, now we don't have any design paper on. So it will get thicker if you get your design paper on. So I will do that. I will put some photo mats on here. Um, and I will put some decoration paper on here. That's easy. You know how, the, how that is. To put some decoration paper on the back, on the back side of a pocket. Something like this. See, stay away from that fold line. Now, of course, this is too short, but you you get the drills. And then, yeah, um, the background of this pocket, this pocket, and till there. So this I will leave it plain because perhaps we have something space left. I don't know yet, but I'm going to do that, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, as promised, um, I did my decoration on, and I thought it was I it, it was be it was thick enough. <laughs> so I decided not to do anything on here. If I did not make this, then I could build up a few more things like a flap or something else. But it is thick enough, uh, so I stopped. Um, so yeah, let me go through. Uh, what I did on the sides, I used some uh, strip and then I used this uh, piece of paper. I love this nice um, light, never stop looking up. This there, so this is the, from the same sheet. And then we go to the back, we have a big photomat tag. I can add something here, um, but I will save that for last. Um, on the back, I did some leftover photo mat page I always like that and um, so yeah this goes back in the back pocket there we go and then we have two pockets right here I use my seam binding for a nice pull out and this is actually one word um, but I cut it loose so I can use it on these two tags. Stars can't shine without darkness. And these goes nicely in here. And oh, something is loose here. Right away, I'm going to mix that up. Let's fix that right away. Otherwise I will forgetting that and that's not... Okay, here we go. Just lift this a little up. Okay, so I really like this seam binding pull out, so it's easier to pull something out, and it's a little decoration. Okay, so yeah, for the rest, I just use them. So I use some leftover pieces. I use this blue that it come back, the silver washi tape on the bottom. So yeah, I like it. So yeah, and then the surprise. Well, it's not a surprise for you because you know what is, what is coming, but you can lift this to the front and then you see these photo mats. I choose this to uh, go for a few other colors in it so it's be a little more playful. And then of course this goes up too and you can add a lot of photos in here. So yeah, this is thick enough. So let's go to the closure. Okay, and I got a phone call. <laughs> That was my mom ah, calling me if I would like to have a fish. Okay, cool. Once in a while she is going to the market and then she asks me if I do like a baked fish. I don't know the white word, but it's nice anyway. 
Okay, but we, before she is getting here, I think we can do the closure from this uh, page. And I already did a little decoration because I want to use this image. I really like it. It's a little light and uh, I like the colors. And for the other pages, there is a lot of dark and blue. So I want to use another color. So I'm going to use a magnet this time. Yes, I'm just going to, I want to stay uh, that this page is going to be closed on any occasion. Um, so I, I'm going to use some magnets and I'm just going to use this big picture and put two of these magnets right here, under here. And that is my closure. All right, so what I'm first going to do is I'm going to add two of my magnets right there Let's grab some double sided tape where is the beginning right here okay okay that's step one now i'm gonna add that black cardstock on the back so my um, my magnets are at are blah, 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 inside these two pages. Diane, really get focused. <laughs> okay, so these magnets are between these two pages. And now I'm first going to add this piece on that black. Okay. No, that was simple, wasn't it? It is. I'm going to burnish my glue. Now the next step is I am going to glue this piece right here on the edge where it belongs. Okay, so what's the best way to do that is to put some glue on here first. Because I don't know exactly how far I can go. And then put some glue on this piece. good that will hold okay and then I'm just going to place this where I want it burnish your glue down okay so now my glue is not coming under this Alright, so next we are grabbing another pair of magnets and then grabbing another um, piece of double sided tape. Here we are. And then we're going to peel this off. And now we're going to close this page and be sure your page is nice, perfectly. And then you push your magnets on that paper. And then I'm just grabbing another piece of double-sided tape. And then we can add our design paper. I already cut that for you guys, so it's going to be a little quicker. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Let's use this piece right here. Okay, let's glue it on. On the right spot. There we go. That 
that's it that's a very nice closure and now I always can embellish something here on the corner that is still the meaning that when I am done uh, then I will see if I have uh, space left so I can embellish it perhaps with some flowers or silver things or cappuccinos or whatever I have in my stash but for now I like it so it's a nice thick page again I like it with a nice closure well perhaps I can make a seam binding thing here so it opens up a bit better that's a possibility perhaps we're going to see but for now it looks stunning so this opens up and then we have the inside cool now I can decorate this if I like but you also can leave it plain so the people can uh, write something down um, with uh, some white if they like so I'm not going to embellish this I'm just leaving this so that people can see that you can write something here if they like cool alright so yeah that's that's it I will let this dry otherwise I do have that already on this page so uh, thank you for watching and um, yeah, I hope you like it I do <laughs> bye bye Thank you.